What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So OnePlus is rolling out a new update for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro, 8T and OnePlus 9R which brings the support of 5G in India. So in this video, let's find out which all carriers got the support of 5G on OnePlus smartphones and what all other changes OnePlus have done. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 8 on which I've already installed the latest version of Oxygen OS 12.1 which is a stable one and the version is C.36 as you can see here and this also brings October 5th 2022 security patch. If you guys haven't received the OTA update, I'll try to provide the download links in the description below. You just have to download the file, go to about section, tap on the up to date and then these three dots. If you don't see local install, then make sure you enable developer options by tapping on the version 7 times. After that, you can just tap on local install and select the file. As you can see here, I already have a file which is an incremental update file and the size is approximate 700 MB from C.35. And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now talking about the benchmark results, so I did notice bit of lower benchmarks on this particular build. So here are the benchmark results using Geekbench application wherein single core have scored 903 and multi core have scored 2478 and all these benchmark testing was done using high performance mode. With Android 2 benchmark application, my OnePlus 8 have scored 5,75,885. Now let me also show you the change logs. So if you go here, so basically there is nothing much to showcase in this video. There are few minor changes done and let's talk about them now. If I tap on about this version, so here you can see when it comes to change logs, we have change logs related to system, communication and camera application. Under system, they have updated the security patch to enhance the security. And coming to communication, here you can see now we have the support of Geo 5G, Airtel 5G and VI 5G, which is Vodafone idea. I cannot confirm about the 5G connectivity right now because right now in my area, I stay in Bangalore and here I don't have 5G support in this particular area. But I'll be testing out 5G speed on my OnePlus 8 and other OnePlus smartphones very soon. So here you can see under preferred network type, we do have the support of 5G. So if any one of you have OnePlus 8 series and have updated your device to version C.36, then do let me know whether 5G works in your area or not, if it is present. If I select 5G here in my area, I don't get the support because right now it's not available everywhere. And also guys, if you're using Airtel Thanks application to check out the 5G support, Right now, I personally feel Airtel Thanks application is not up to date. So if you try to test out and every device, it has been the same thing. Though my devices have got the support of 5G, but using this application, it still says software update is required. And here you can see. I think it's an issue with Airtel Thanks application, which requires a small update. So if you guys get the working 5G on your OnePlus 8 series and 9R, then do let me know in the comment section below. After that, they have also done few optimizations when it comes to camera application. So let me show you the change log what they have done with the camera app. So here you can see it says fixes a stutter issue that affects video recording in some scenarios. It wasn't some scenarios. It used to always happen whenever we used to record 4K at 60 FPS or 4K at 30 FPS. And this used to also happen whenever I used to open the camera application after a long time. If the app is not running in the background, I used to see bit of stutters or lags you can say when I used to open the app for the first time. But right now, after this update, that issue has been completely taken care. I have tested and now with 4K at 30 FPS or 4K at 60 FPS, we don't get to see any stutters with the camera application. So guys, these were some of the minor changes what OnePlus have done. Though the update size was quite large, around 700 MB but as per the change logs these were only the changes and I won't be doing a review of this particular build I'll be soon coming up with the review of Oxygen OS 13 beta 1 so stay tuned for that as of now only this much in this video I hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day